I bit the bullet. I bit the bullet, not I bought it, although I probably bought something stupid as well. What's happening in Palooza Party? It's your girl Gigi and you are watching Anime Palooza. Today I have another subscription box unboxing for you and uh, this one was one I've been waiting for for a while. It's, it's my birthday collector's edition may bishi box yes i bought the bullet i bit the bullet i bit the bullet not i bought it although i probably bought something stupid as well i bit the bullet and i shelled out the 105 dollars plus shipping to buy to buy the collector's edition may bishi box put that down because my address is on it um, if you've seen my previous unboxing of Bishi Boxes, this is a company who makes you a box full of boys. It's a Hisbanjo box. A lot of the time there are your on ice things in there. Um, and they are a sort of new-ish company. They have four different sizes, I believe, of boxes that you can buy. It goes all the way up from collectors, which is this one, which is the most expensive, down to a mini box, which I believe is $25 plus shipping, and it comes with a bunch of keychains chains so in my collector's box I was promised 10 items plus a free birthday gift because it was my birthday because they say if it's your birthday you get a free gift okay so 10 items plus a free gift so 11 items we're not gonna count the free gift so in theory everything in this box each item should be worth a little bit more than ten dollars you can pick an option you can pick yaoi or non yaoi options now they promised a 10 count figure in all the yaoi boxes I like 10 count so <laughs> I picked the yaoi option spoiler never again will I pick the yaoi option you'll find out in a second why I did already open this BT dubs because I couldn't wait any longer you were also promised a Yuri on Ice cafe event plush or some kind of event plush aka you can't buy it anywhere you have to get it at an event um and a marginal four item I believe she bags are kind of complicated to order they pre-order them and then they come like a month and a half after you order them I do have a June collectors coming I am not ordering the July box because they are putting girl stuff in there. Plus it has a bunch of anime I could give two shits about. Um, and this is a multi-fandom box, which means, yes, the theme I believe this month was Yuri on Ice and something else. But you're not going to get a box full of Yuri on Ice stuff. You're going to get some stuff that's Yuri on Ice and some stuff that are other anime. Okay, so just so you know, didn't go into this thinking I was going to get a box of Yuri on Ice stuff. It is a multi-fandom box, but there's a bunch of boys in it. I'll leave everything you need to get a Bishi box of your own down in the down bar below, but let me show you what's in this one. Let's get our unboxing on. So the first thing of note that I'd like to mention is that I didn't get a little thank you card like I did in the boxes before, and um, something is already missing out of here that's running around rampant. So okay, I'm just going to pull the, the item out first. Um, so my cafe, my event plush from Yuri on Ice, of course is a Yuri Kotsky plush. Now I'm actually not too sad about this to be honest with you. Um, this is from the Sweet Time Yuri on Ice. This is actually a Ban Presto product. Maybe this didn't come from an event. I don't know. Well anyway I'm not too sad about this because I know if I ordered plushies from Amiami or something I didn't get a Yuri so I don't have him. I also know if I want to sell him that he's going to be really expensive so that's good um, but it's basically like Yuri with stars in his hair um, dressed up like a waiter kind of. I want to say this is almost no it's not because he doesn't have his tie. I was going to say it's almost drunken banquet Yuri but it's not. So there's my big plushy item and those are really expensive like they're going for a lot of money. Second item I got from Yuri on Ice is I don't know what the collection is um but it is a Victor plush. Yay Victor. He's tiny. He comes on a ball chain and he's ready to bring you love and affection. It's like made out of felt. It's kind of cheap actually. This is from Sega. Po pretty positive I did not buy this. So that is good. You are eat a bag bound little tiny Victor. The next thing I got is a poster which probably came from one of those magazines that I like. It is a K Missing Kings poster unfortunately but it is double-sided and the other side is 
Oh, it's not in English. Oh, Ace of Diamond. Sorry. Okay, so it's a big poster. You get these out of like monthly pash, posh, whatever. Is this upside down? I don't know. This is Camus and Kings. This is Camus and Kings side. And then this side is Ace of Diamond, which is if I were to display the side I would put up. So these come in those, like I said, these come in the magazines that I like. Definitely wouldn't be the poster I would choose, but Ace of Diamond is still pretty cool. This did come wrapped in plastic, but I took the plastic off. So we're on item number four now. This is a little figure which did not come in a box or anything. Um, and luckily I knew who it was because it's from B Project. And it's actually from a good band. It's not from Moons because Moons sucks at life. This is from Kitakore and it is Tomohisa, I want to say. It's not the guy who looks like a girl. It's the other one. He is stuck in there. This kind of is like a petite chara, but it is not a petite chara. It's too big, but it comes on a stand just like a petite chara. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to put them together, but it does have the little PC thing to hold him on. Here is the stand. And then here is Tomohisa. This is a really nice, this is a cute, <laughs> this is a cute figure as I drop him on the ground. So I really liked this, especially because it was a character that I really like. And it's from B Project, which you cannot go wrong with B Project. I'm pretty sure he didn't come in this pouch, but I'm going to put him in this pouch. Next thing I got is a Yuri on Ice clip and I got Agape Yurio! Yes! Um, I'm pretty positive I did not order these. I'm glad I re I'm really glad I got this one. So it's like a little clip. Like, you can put papers or chips or whatever together with and it's agape urio yes and then look at his little butt agape urio oh, my hand agape urio butt so this is really cute and like i said i'm pretty sure i didn't get these so that's exciting the next thing that i got is my marginal number four item it is a shikishi from Ban Presto. So, hi, hello with my new shikishi obsessions. This is really great. So, let me show you this packaging real quickly. And here's all the ones that you can get on the back. Um, I wanted somebody from LaGrange Road because <laughs> LaGrange Road is obviously best band. And I got one. Yee! Um, this isn't my favorite guy. I like the dark haired guy better, but I don't care because he's from LaGrange Road and therefore he's best. And it actually looks like it was signed. I'm pretty sure it's a fake signature. Yeah, it's, I'm positive it's a fake signature. Um, but I love Shikishis and I love that I got one that I really wanted. I actually really want this whole set and I might go on Amiyami to try and find it. Um, you want to look at the, why this was the Yaoi box? Let's do that. So I got two Yaoi items in the box. The first one, which I'm not going to show you, is Baby's First Doujin. So I got a Doujin. If you don't know what that is, it is a self published manga from Japan which has a story written by a fan. It's basically a fan manga and it's really nicely made. Like it's all in Japanese. It's not for public viewing. <laughs> it's not for public viewing. Um, I will say it is a very nicely made manga. I do not need to have another one. I, I looked in it like the, the franchise was good. It was something that I liked. I looked in it and I was like I never needed to see this. So you're going to stay in the box, Dojin. But the other thing, which is what I really wanted, was a 10 count figure. And look at how small this is. It is about the size of my thumbnail. I mean, for, for space sake, I don't know how I'm doing this. I mean, look at how tiny it is. Let me take him out of the plastic. I don't even know who this guy is. I think this is the shrink. I think these are also the ones that go on a cup, which if I would have known it was the ones that went on a cup, I probably wouldn't have gotten it to be quite honest with you. So it comes with this little piece that's broken off or I don't really know where this little piece came from. Oh, you put it on his butt so he can sit down, I think. Um, so this is my tiny 10 count figure. Anyone who wants to tell me which one this is, please feel free. I think it's the shrink guy, but um, yeah, it is tiny and I'm probably gonna honestly lose him, not on purpose. So I'm gonna put him back in this bag. And this had a thing that 
it's marked free gift. I got a Victor and Makachin Yuri and Ice Cutout Encore from Van Presto. This is an Ichiban Kuji prize. I don't really know what this is. Oh, it's a really tiny clear file. Oh my god, how cute. Oh, oh, it's got flowers on it. How cute is this? So it's like about the size of like a big, maybe a little smaller than a big index card. And I got Victor and Makachin. It's got some flowers on the back. You know what I really want, you guys? I want those things with Victor and the flower crowns that I know were events stuff. I can't find them anywhere, but you guys know what I'm talking about, right? I want those. This is my birthday gift, I guess. I mean, it just said free gift. It didn't say happy birthday on it, but I will definitely take a clear file with Victor on it for my birthday. Um, so it is a Yuri on Ice magnet and it is Yurio, which is exciting. It's got an anime screen cap on the front and it's kind of like squishy-ish, but not really that squishy. I've never seen these. I don't have these, so that's good. Magnet on the back. So that's gonna go to work with my magnet collection. Then I got a clear file. This is from Idolish 7. And you know what? I'm not gonna take this out of the plastic. But it is Yotsuba, Tamaki, Osaka, Sogo, and Tsunashi Ryunosuke, which yes, yes, all my yes. I am so down with whatever these guys are selling. 1000% yes. Idolish 7, come over here please because I need you plus it's a clear file. And then the last thing I got in my box is another Band Presto Sweet Time. This is an E prize. This is number six. These are two um, pins. It's a pin set of Minami and Yurio. So these are really cute. I'm excited that it's a Yurio and that he's this happy smiling Yurio and then Minami is not my favorite but he's not my least favorite so I'll take him. So this is a really cute set. I can't find these to buy so that is good. So that was everything in my Bishi box. We're gonna do the item thing with the with the pricing that I used to do for uh, Yume Twins and all that garbage, so hold on. So we want to have a price of about $10 per item. First up, we have this clear file. Um, would I pay $10 for it? No, because it's just a clear file, um, but it is a really nice clear file. I'd put that in the maybe pile. Next up, we have our doujin that I'm not showing you, but I would pay $10 for it um, because it's really well made. It, and fan items are really expensive, so back into the box you go. Um, next up are these, which $5 a piece. These are definitely not quality made $5 a piece, but yeah, they're kind of exclusive. So I guess I would do it. So we're running it about like two and a half out of 10 or whatever. This was my gift. So it doesn't count. I wouldn't pay $10 for it anyway. My Yurio clip wouldn't pay $10, but I really like it. My Shiki Shi wouldn't pay $10, but I really like it. Um, my B project and my 10 count figure. Um, actually, for the B project figure, those petite chars are pretty expensive, so I would pay $10 for that. My 10 count tiny thumbnail figure, absolutely not. So, like four. Um, this Yurio magnet, not worth $10. This poster, not worth $10. This little baby Victor. I'm pretty sure this is actually selling for $10. <laughs> I know that sounds fucking outrageous, but this Yuri on Ice shit goes for a ton of money. Like my acrylic straps are like nine bucks. So, okay, I'm gonna give the $10 to this. So that's like five. And then this, yeah, yeah. It's kind of an exclusive item and these are really expensive. They're actually worth more than $10. So I would pay $10 for that, even though it's Yuri Kotsky, who I don't like. About six and a half. So 65 out of 105 plus shipping. I'd say this box is basically around $70 worth of stuff. And I paid 105 plus shipping. Um, if I would have known, I definitely, you know, I said the last time, go bigger. I think the highest, I really thought because I got a collector's box there would be a figure in here and there wasn't. So I don't think I'm going to order another collector's box from Bishi Box again. I, like I said, I did already order the June one, so the June one is coming. Um, but after that, and I did do the non yaoi so there's, yes, that's good. Yeah, I don't think I'd order a collector's from them again unless there's a figure in the June box. 
Um, but I would maybe do a large depending on what the theme was and if I like the anime that were in it. Um, I don't like the fact that for July they're doing like Boruto and My Hero Academia, but they did put a thing on there that says there will be girls in this box. I don't want girls in my bishi box, yo. I want a husbando box. So yeah, that was everything for my May bishi box collector's edition unboxing. Let me know what you thought about anything that I got or this video down in the comments below. What was your favorite item? You think these Uranus plushes are worth 10 bucks? I don't know. I don't know. They seem to be really expensive. So let me know your thoughts and we'll have a little party down in the comments. If you like what I do and you want to buy me a drink, my Ko-Fi link is in the down bar along with my P.O. box. If you'd like to send me some mail, I will unbox it on this channel and I'll send you something back. I post videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter, my anime list, or my figure collection. My username's Anime Palooza at those places and until next time, love your faces!